Welcome everyone to an exciting Star Wars Duel the Public video where we will be talking about patch 5.9 and the upcoming Nathema Flashpoint. Basically a lot of the information I speak about in this video will be from data mine information. I'll be looking at the codex entries and also just what to expect with the Flashpoint. I always do one of these videos just before a Flashpoint is released because I know there are people out there that like to know kind of the information going into the story. What to expect, why things are happening the way they're happening so that they can make the choices they want to make and stuff like that. But of course if if you're someone who doesn't want any spoilers, please click off this video, don't look in the comment section. This is going to be very, very spoiler heavy and um, I, for, some, for people who like to experience the story new and without any of these sort of things being revealed, um, this, is, this video is basically going to ruin it for you. So make sure you click off this video. We will be talking about very heavy spoilers going into the story, but mainly it's just to explain some of the context of what's going on uh, so you can kind of understand the choices people made. So before going into the actual codex entries, which are quite revealing and do give us a lot of information about um, just kind of the context of what's going on. Let's talk about the Flashpoint itself. So as we know, this Flashpoint is going to provide the conclusion to not only the Theron Traitor storyline, but also to our Alliance and what's going to happen with that. It's been uh, announced that Patch 6.0 is coming out uh, later, uh, perhaps at the end of the year or next year, and that is going to uh, involve a return to the whole Empire versus Republic war and the alliance is more or less going to be done away with. So the way that's going to happen I'll talk about a little bit later but with the Flashpoint itself we're still hunting Theron. We don't really understand what's going on. What we do know and what's been revealed to us is that Theron is working with the Order of Zildrog. Now I initially thought that the Order of Zildrog were the Heralds of Zildrog but that's actually incorrect. The Order of Zildrog is a a compilation of, of a bunch of people. So it's a group basically made up of the Heralds of Zildrog, but mainly a group made up of all the people who were Valkorian loyalists and who want revenge on the Outlander for killing Valkorian, for basically destroying Zakul and their whole way of life and the harmony that they had established. So their main goal is not to really awaken Zildrog or, or anything like that, it's to actually kill the Outlander and enact their vengeance and it's made up of like, you know, the Zakulin military leaders and all those other people who were involved with the Old Order. So that those are the Order of Zildrog and they basically want to kill the Outlander. Theron figured out about them and he has decided to become a double agent and infiltrate them. So he never really planned on betraying the Outlander or the Alliance or Lana or anything like that. He was a double agent as many people had correctly predicted. I had almost 100% knew he was going to be a double agent. I mean, it was so obvious because none of his motivations or what they were saying made any sense. So if you did like Theron, take solace in the fact that he was a double agent that's actually trying to help you. Um, so that's going to make for some really interesting interactions going into the story and with what happens. I don't want to spoil too much, but what I do want to say is that you will at the end of the Flashpoint have the option to kill Theron. So you will be able to, to kill him if that's what you want to do. You also have the option to marry him or Lana. So you have the option to marry or kill, and you actually have, for some reason have the option to marry Lana as well. So that's going to happen at the end. Some important choices that are, are going to be made with regards to what companions and relationships you want to keep and stuff like that. Also at the end of the story, your entire fleet, uh, the gravestone, everything will be destroyed. So it's all going to go. Your entire alliance will be fragmented. This is going to make some people happy and some people sad. It's going to make the people happy who, who just want to be done away with the alliance, return back to the old thing. I'm actually in that group. I, I quite want to return back to the initial conflict. I'm much more interested in the Empire and the Republic. But for those people who are kind of invested in the story, who liked having their own alliance and their own faction, uh, they're going to be unhappy because it's all basically going to be destroyed with just like that. Like it's going to be done away with everything you kind of worked for to achieve. Uh, it's going to be gone, but that's going to basically be the end of the Flashpoint. So what happens in between that is I'll leave it for you guys to go ahead and experience. One really interesting part of this Flashpoint is you will encounter one enemy from your class story. So each of the different classes will get a different NPC to encounter during the story and there will be um, class specific dialogue. So that's kind of an interesting thing. We obviously haven't seen much class specific stuff coming to the game recently. So this is a really nice change to happen. And it's going to be awesome for me who's a Sith warrior to encounter someone from my class story that I haven't seen in a long time and to have a very interesting interaction there. Um, in the veteran and master mode that that's NPC or that class specific NPC will be like a hooded figure like like they normally do. But uh, for the for the story flashpoint it's going to be really interesting. 
and the final boss of the flashpoint will be the herald or will be zildrog himself so that's going to be interesting okay let's go on to the codex entries to explain a little bit about some things you might be confused about so who exactly or what exactly is zildrog because we haven't gotten much of who this mysterious entity is it's obviously some sort of god and basically it's actually a mechanical entity so very similar to the gods from iocath and the operation that we've uh, just completed zildrog is also um, a mechanical or machine god and um, he's very very similar to isaac and that he uses is very similar technology and he's a destroyer so Zildrog is, is kind of this sort of um destructive entity and actually in the whole Zakulin mythology Isaacs and Zildrog are often conflated with one another or confused with one another so they're kind of these dual deities that are actually quite similar and uh and are you know are given similar qualities and stuff like that but while the other gods are on Iocath predominantly, Zildrog is on Nathema and probably played a very significant role in Tenebre's ritual that he had done on that planet. Because as we know, he had kind of sucked the life force out of the entire planet to make himself immortal and incredibly strong. And Zildrog's actually kind of primary ability is the ability to transfer life and life energy so it isn't explicitly stated but it's hinted at very strongly that this device is what actually kind of gave Tenebri that sort of ability or, or there is some sort of relationship there with what happened with uh, with Vitiate's ritual and also the presence of Zildrog on the planet itself. Um, now actually an extension of Zildrog, part of Zildrog is the Gravestone, so the incredibly powerful ship that we use during Knights of the Fallen Empire, Knights of the Eternal Throne, is actually an extension of Zildrog, and Zildrog has the ability to command um, the, the Gravestone as if it's its own limb, and so that's probably going to play a very huge role in what destroys the Eternal Fleet and the Alliance and all that stuff. Like what's going to destroy all our ships or something is probably going to be Zildrog taking command of that, uh, of that um of the gravestone and, and doing something with it. But once again, that, that isn't revealed. We don't know. We'll just have to see with the actual flashpoint. But is Zildrog actually related to the machines on Iocath? Probably not. They're actually probably created by separate creators and, um, and maybe they were even rivals. So someone saw what was happening on Iocath, decided to do their own thing to try to counteract uh, the gods of Iocath. So it could be something like that. This is all from the Codex entries, and as we know, Codex entries don't reveal everything. They just kind of provide some sort of hints of what's going on. So that's really interesting. With regards to the Eternal Alliance and the State of the Galaxy, so the Eternal Alliance is nearly destroyed, but it isn't entirely destroyed. There's still some sort of fragments here and there. Uh, some people, obviously the people who are loyal to you are going to remain loyal to you, like all of your companions, but there's also some other fragments that are, that are still out there roaming the galaxy so while the alliance doesn't really have any sort of military or political power um it's still there it still might play a role time and time and again when we see future expansions or stories and stuff like that but for the most part it's gone and what and what the outlander and then their whole uh, troop has to do is go back to their original faction so all the imperial characters are going to go back to the empire all the republic characters are going to go back to the republic and the empire and the republic itself are now going to regain control and power because because the Zakulin faction is gone, the Alliance is gone, and so now those two are going to re-emerge to the forefront, and obviously they're going to reignite their old war. Now, a very interesting uh, codex entry is with regards to the Nathema Zealots and what happened to them, because as we know, on um, the Nathema Zealots are these sort of staunch followers of Valkorion who live on the planet Nathema and who actually can't leave Nathema because uh, their force energy is tied so strongly with it so if they leave they would die and uh, now with the death of Valkorion these zealots felt that death and they don't quite know what to do now they don't have a master so what they actually did was they broke off into these various tribes and groups on Nathema and then they fight one another kill one another so they're kind of having their own little mini battle or mini schisms going on but they don't have a master they've gone and joined their own thing it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with them when we return to Nathema. But with the death of Alcorian, that's probably played a huge role in what's happening on Nathema, which is that um, it's regrowing its plant life, it's regrowing its entire environment, the whole force energy thing is kind of going away for the most part, and it's attributed to the fact that Valkorion was killed, and he was playing a big role in keeping Nathema the way it was. And the Zealots themselves now have to deal with this new kind of um, environment, and they're most likely going to be an enemy that we face in the Flashpoint. And
And then finally, with the Order of the Ziljog, as I mentioned earlier, it's not so much just the Heralds of Ziljog, it's a group of people. It's led by a guy named Vin Atreus, who's actually going to be a boss in the Flashpoint. He's the leader. Once again, he's entirely committed to the death of the Outlander. That's his entire goal. He was also the person who discovered Ziljog on Nathema. So he was the guy who found him, uh, probably played a role in, in, I don't know, reigniting him and, um, and reactivating him and stuff. And so he's the leader. And that concludes a lot of the information and the contextual stuff about what's happening with this Flashpoint, kind of what to expect a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. After reading all of this, I definitely am very excited to try out this Flashpoint, see a lot of the story content. It does seem to be very story heavy, which is something I'm really excited for. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for the return of the Republic to the Empire? Are you guys going to be kind of uh, going back to your old roots? I'm very still very connected to the Empire. I love the Empire. I can't wait to fight for them again. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.